Welcome to the 10th annual Status of Education report. For the last 10 years, since the 2% cess was levied, Asar has been reporting on the changing status of elementary education in India. Asar reports on three major aspects of the status of education enrollment and attendance, levels of reading and math achievement, and school facilities. In 2005, 93.4% of 6 to 14 year olds were already enrolled in school. This proportion reached 96% in 2009 and has inched up to 96.7% in 2014. The proportion of 7 to 10 year olds in school was already 95% in 2005. It moved up to 97.4% in 2007 and now is at 98%. There were 91.1% children in the 11 to 14 age group enrolled in school in 2005. This number has been 95% for over 10 years. However, this does not tell the whole story. First, according to government figures, the total enrolment in elementary education went up from 16.8 crores to 19.9 crores between 2005 and 2013 an increase of 3.1 crore children in the system. Additionally, since 2002, 3.6 lakh new schools have been sanctioned and 10 lakh new teachers were hired in addition to the existing 36 lakh teachers. Over the same period, Asar noted that proportion of 6 to 14-year-old children going to private schools increased from 18.7% in 2006 to 21.3% in 2009. This is when the Right to Education Act was passed. In 2014, 30.8% of rural children are in private schools. Nationwide, government figures show that from 5.1 crore 6 to 14 year olds in private schools, the number has increased to 7.8 crore, while government school enrollment has declined from 13.1 crore to 12.1 crore over the same period. As enrollment patterns changed in a big way, what happened to learning levels? The proportion of Standard 5 children in government schools who can at least read a Standard 2 text remained unchanged at around 50% till 2010. It then began to decline and hit a low of 41.1% in 2013. However, there seems to be a marginal improvement to 42.2% in 2014. In contrast, the same proportion among private school children was 60.8% in 2006, 64.2% in 2010 and stands at 62.5% in 2014. This means the gap in reading level between government and private schools has increased from 9.4 percentage points to 20.3 percentage points. In both government and private schools, India's children are getting increasingly worse at basic math. But here too, the gap between government and private schools is growing. The proportion of children in Standard 2 who cannot recognize even the numbers 1 to 9 has doubled to 25% in government schools. This remains lower for children in private schools. In 2007, 73% of government school children in Standard 5 could do at least subtraction. Today. That number has fallen to just 44%. Again, the gap is visible between government and private schools. Does this mean that private schools are doing a better job? As Dr. Vilima Vadva points out in the Asar 2014 report, once we take into account children's home characteristics, such as parents' education and household assets, the learning outcomes gap between children in government and those in private schools reduces substantially. This means that most of the difference in learning outcomes is attributable to differences in their home environments rather than in their schools. In 2002, Sarva Shiksha Abhiyan set out to fill the input and infrastructure gap in government provisions and additional funds from the Government of India were used to provide midday meals and other facilities. Asar finds that since the implementation of the Right to Education Act, some provisions and facilities have improved significantly in government schools. 
In 2014, nationally 85% schools are observed serving midday meals on a given day. In some states such as Assam, West Bengal and Bihar, less than 70% schools are observed serving midday meals on the day of the visit. Nationally, in 2014, 94% schools have toilets but only 65% are usable. In 2010, only 89% schools had toilets of which 47% were usable. In 2010, only 31% schools had usable girls toilets. This number rose to 53.3% in 2013 and today stands at 55.7%. In comparison, the provision of usable water facility has improved marginally from 72.7% in 2010 to 75.6% in 2014. However, in most states more than 65% schools now have usable water facilities over the last 10 years the elementary education system has expanded large numbers of students have entered private schools and enrollment in government schools has declined in a big way except in states of bihar west bengal jharkhand and odisha but across the board there is a learning crisis As the new government makes plans for the coming years it is obvious that improvement in learning levels is the main challenge that needs to be tackled infrastructure and inputs cannot be the focus of attention anymore we hope that the padhi bharat badhi bharat initiative is expanded to cover all elementary school classes urgently so that all children of india can start on the journey towards quality education